a few years ago, Pope Francis visited our country, and he spent some time addressing a joint session of the Congress. As a vicar of Christ, he spoke about certain moral issues, about religious freedom, about social justice, about the dignity of the human person. His inspired words, powerful words, brought tears to the eyes of some of the members of the Congress. Imagine the Pope in the middle of the meeting and someone comes up to him and says, your mother and your brothers have come from Argentina and they want to see you. What do you think the Pope will do? To stop the meeting in order to see his family? Or to continue the meeting and then see his family after the meeting? Pope is a Pope, not for his family, but for the larger family that Jesus comes to establish. It's a family that includes all, both the Pope's family and the members of the Congress, all are part of this family. And we see Jesus today teaching the crowd, people from different towns and villages who were hungry, who were thirsty for the word of life. And they were passionately listening to Jesus as he teaches them about the parable of the sower. The farmer who scattered his seeds and some fell on the path some on rocky soil and some on thorny soil and some on good soil he spoke about the lamp that no one lights a lamp and puts it under his or her bed rather you place it on a lampstand that those around would see their way. And Jesus was in the middle of his teaching when someone came up to him and said, your mother and your brothers are here and they want to see you. What did he expect Jesus to do at that point? To leave this sheep behind in order to see his family. My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. The kingdom of God, the family that Jesus comes to establish, is for all. It is not something that you qualify because you are a member of my blood family. It is not something that you inherit. As some Jews believed, we are children of Abraham. And so we don't need <clears throat> any repentance. Because Abraham <clears throat> would not see his children go to hell. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my voice. <clears throat> Abraham would not be in heaven and his children would be in hell. And Jesus said to them, if you are descendants Abraham, of Abraham, you would do what Abraham did. He heard the word of God and responded to it. My family, my mother, responded to the word of God. And you too can be part of Jesus' <clears throat> family circle if you could listen to the word of God and act upon it. 
So Jesus is inviting all to be part of this family circle, which includes people from Africa, from America, from Asia, from Europe. All of us are part of this spiritual family that Jesus comes to establish. Don't discount yourself. There is no favoritism in the family of God. And so we ask the Lord to send the Holy Spirit upon us to inspire us to this desire the Word of God, to discern the word, the word of God from the many competing voices that we have in our world today, and also to give us the grace to act upon the Word of God.